everybody's feeling the show. I want to um, salute and thank, oh, you know, all my people that been uh, donating, I, you know, I appreciate the donations for the little Butelo, dollar sign, Charlie Rock LD. You already know. If you got it, spread it. You know what I mean? Don't, don't send me no cupones, no cupones. We ain't taking no food stands. Here go the homie right here. Alberto, salute, man. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We got the crazy, crazy show today. The crazy, crazy show. I want everybody to know that your boy Charlie Rock is way more than just OG legend status. Prison mentality, your boy is way, way more than prison mentality. You know what I mean? Your boy has a mountain of knowledge and enlightenment on many, many topics. So if you think Charlie Rock is all about prison mentality, you got to twist it, homie. You definitely got to twist it. Let's get into the show. Again, we got the mad viewers over here, man. Let me see. Ray, you already know. No food stamps. No food stamps. Strictly cash app. You're a funny motherfucker, yo. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but your boy is click clacking today. We blewing it up. I'm on some blue shit today. We got the official motherfucking Gucci. You know what I mean? The Gucci frames. People be uh, complimenting me on my frames. You know what I mean? Of course, they pull gazy, but we ain't going to get into that. Fuck all that. It is what it is. Mm, this is a new guy here. I never seen this guy here. The Entourage Effect. Saludo from Massachusetts. All right. The three, four, one, three. Salute, homie. It is what it is. All right, let's get into the story. The contributions that Blacks played in the history and culture of Puerto Ricans that we study to this day. That's right. That's right. As everybody's aware of, the first Blacks that were brought to the island of Puerto Rico were brought by the Spaniards. And, you know, it is what it is. We don't got to go there. You know what I mean? Everybody already know. I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. But the Blacks came into Puerto Rico, I believe, in uh, 1515. Don't quote me on it, but I believe it was 1515 when the first Blacks arrived in Puerto Rico. And, of course, we had the Europeans, the Spaniards, and the Indians. Y'all know the history. I'm not going to go in on the fucking history. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Hold up, we got somebody from Baltimore. In Baltimore, we didn't grow up with no other nationality. All right, your boy's from the X, from the South Bronx. In the South Bronx, it was strictly blacks and Puerto Ricans when I was growing up. Today is a different issue, you know what I mean? Salute to everybody. But I was definitely raised with blacks and Puerto Ricans. And FYI, I did a show where I spoke about I never experienced racism until I went to prison. But that's another story. Y'all going to have to peep that out. So, yeah, let's get into it. Like I said, the year was 1515. Let's talk about a lot of the customs that Blacks brought to the island. Uh, the first one I guess I want to talk about is religion. You know, as we all know, if you're familiar with history, the Spaniards was on some hardcore shit. Wherever the Spaniards took over, they was like, listen, you're going to either be Catholicism or we banging on you. <laughs> they murdered many, many people. Whoever didn't want to convert to Catholicism, they were straight getting put to the sword. So what did the blacks do? The blacks used to mask their religion. That's right. They used to mask their religion when they came over to Puerto Rico and they would pray to, to the Catholicism, but on the low, they was praying to their own gods. But the religion I want to talk about is Santeria. That's right, Santeria. For those that don't know, Puerto Ricans are real big in Santeria. And Santeria was brought to the islands by the blacks. That's right. In case you ain't know, homie, the blacks was the ones that brought Santeria. Let me see who's over here. The homie Alberto Santeria, that's right. Let them know, Alberto. A lot of people aren't aware of that. You know, today, a lot of Puerto Ricans practice Santeria. And they're probably not even aware that it was the blacks that brought that to the island. That's right. 
So big up to them for bringing Santeria. You know what I mean? On the low, my mother used to practice that. That's right. Rock with your boy. And, um, you know, I'm not going to go into the history of Santeria because, to be honest, I really don't know about it. I'm just giving you all the basics. If y'all want to know about, more about Santeria, look the shit the fuck up. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Rock with your boy. Who's this right here? You know, I like to show love. Cat in the hat. Yo, Rock, we feeling Brooklyn. All right, BK, ya tu sabe. Let's talk about another contributions at the Black Blood Ball to Puerto Rico. The music. That's right. If you know, if you ain't know, now you know. Blacks, you know, music. Don't quote me on this, but to my understanding, it was, you know, brought over from uh, Africa. That's right. Especially the Congas. The Congas, the Blacks uh, introduced the Puerto Ricans at the time to the fucking Congas. That's right. So, you know, we get our rhythm from them. You already know. The salsa, the, all that other stuff, we can date it back to them. That's right. It evolved during the time and all that and everything, you know, but it originated from Africa. So rock with your boy. You already know. Salute to the Vega family. We in the yard. Ya tu sabe. And, um... And, you know, it is what it is. They brought the conga. Uh, I believe the flute. Uh, I'm freestyling right now. I know the conga for real. You know what I mean? And I'm not really too sure on what other instruments they brought, but they definitely brought a lot of instruments to the island. Uh, let's talk about La Bomba y La Plena. For those that don't know, there's a dance in Puerto Rico called La Bomba. It's the national dance of Puerto Rico to this day. And homie is straight up African. If you didn't know, La Bomba is straight up African. If you ever had the pleasure of seeing the dance perform, it's a it's a very, you know what I mean? Crazy. It's a very crazy um dance. It's very spiritual. Um let me see. Um, I'm trying to see the science behind the bomba and the plena. But, you know, I've seen it. You know, we actually, we used to practice it when I was in, in, in uh, elementary school. Every now and then for Spanish History Month, we used to practice la bomba. And the females who dress up like Aunt Jemima from the pancake box with the band, with the, with the headdress and the flowing white dresses. And they would do the jump off and all that other shit. Look, y'all got C-Rock dancing. Fuck out of here. But yeah, La Bomba is the national dance of Puerto Rico, for those that don't know. And I believe it was first performed in San Anton Ponce. That happens to be where your boy is from. I'm a New York Rican, but both my parents are from San Anton Ponce. So big up to Ponce, ya tu sabe. What the homie saying right here? Hold on. The Vega family, I seen the dance perform. My homegirl dances in La Bomba Plena, that's right. Gangster, crazy gangster. There's a lot of movement, a lot of, to my understanding, they, uh, that dance was actually performed to entertain the gods. If I'm mistaken, dance itself was invented in ancient times to entertain the gods. That's why today a lot of rituals in whatever religion you're in, a lot of the rituals, you know, the Japanese, the Chinese, they dance. And to my understanding, the dance was invented to entertain the gods. Part of a ritual. That was their custom. So why isn't Puerto Rico going to have its own? Big up to La Bomba. Ya tu sabe, we in the yard, homie. So yeah, we got that out the way. Uh, let me see. I actually got a little thing over here. So I won't forget. Bear with me. Bear with me. Your boy is in the yard right now. I want to thank everybody. Subscribe. Subscribe, my people. I need y'all to subscribe. Uh. Oh, the warrior tactics. That's right. The blacks brought many, many styles of fighting to Puerto Rico. 
That's right. And it was also brought to my attention today from uh, Mick Mountain. That's right, the homie Mick Mountain. Salute to Mick Mountain. He's uh, he gave me some insight today on stuff that I wasn't aware of. When Columbus sailed to Puerto Rico on the Nina, the Pina, and the Santa Maria, his navigational guides and the guys that showed him how to navigate were the Moors. For those who don't know, the Moors played a major part. The Moors, I believe, were black Muslims who had uh, invaded Spain in 711, what, AD? And uh, they had control of Spain for more than 700 years, the Moors. The Moors are very exciting people. I suggest y'all look them up. But yeah, that's another contribution. The Moors was actually the navigators on Christopher Columbus ship on the way to the new land. Rock with your boys, so salute to the Moors. You know what I mean? The Moors was highly intelligent. You know what I mean? They showed the Spaniards how to wipe their ass because the Spaniards didn't believe in showers. <laughs> Back then, the Spaniards thought that the shower was a ritual thing, so they would only take showers once or twice a year. The Moors was the actual people that set up public baths in, in Spain and all that and everything. But that's another story. Don't get me mixed up, y'all. Today is all about the contributions that the Blacks brought to Puerto Rico. The customs and the history that to this day we still follow. That's right. I don't want to sound extra cocky, but Puerto Ricans actually study more African cultures than the Black Americans. That's right, homie. But that's another story. Who's this right here? Hold up. Lonnie, what's good? The Moors was like aliens to the region back then. That's right. The Moors was highly intelligent. Definitely highly intelligent. The boy Lonnie knows. He already knows. He still don't know me where the hell. He still haven't told me where from Terror Squad he's been. He know too much information about TS and all that shit. But Lonnie, we're going to get on that on some other time. <clears throat> and Cuba, that's right. The whole Caribbean. You know, the Spaniards was known... They were, they was dumb dudes back in the days. The Spaniards at one time, you know, was the superpower of the world. You know, all of Latin America, the Caribbean, Central, the, the Spaniards, you know. And in history, I believe every country had their time to reign. And at this time, the Spaniards was dumb dudes. You know what I mean? And they didn't only do this in Puerto Rico. They did this in everywhere that they took over. But that's another story. Roberto Clemente, that's right. Let's pick up Roberto Clemente. You do not get more black than Roberto Clemente. You know what I mean? If you don't know about Roberto Clemente, I believe he was the first Puerto Rican to play in the in the in the National Baseball League. Uh, he was crazy nice. Uh, he actually died. He died in an airplane on his way to Puerto Rico to take him supplies. That's my understanding of Roberto Clemente. There was a big storm in Puerto Rico. The people were in desperate need of supplies. Roberto Clemente took his own money, stacked the plane with mass supplies. He was on his way to Puerto Rico. The plane went down and, you know, salute to Roberto Clemente. That's how he passed away. 72, you already know. So yeah, let me see what else we got here. Of course, the color, the color. Why do we have black Puerto Ricans today? I mean, of course, everybody knows, you know, but I'm just going to speak on it in case somebody just isn't aware. You never know what type of people, you know, is watching this video and they fucking don't know. You know what I mean? Today, like everybody else, but we're referring about the Puerto Ricans. We have black Puerto Ricans. We have Spanish. We have Indio. You know, we have all types of Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans come in all shapes, colors, and sizes, my man. If you your ass ain't no, now you know. You know, we come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. This is the reason they want us culturally separated. Too powerful together. Divide and conquer, you already know. Divide and conquer. If you're not aware about 
you know, divide and conquer. That's what they've been using against us for thousands and thousands of years. Even back in the Roman days, it was always about divide and conquer. Was this fact spears? Yeah, the spears, they brought over the spears. They also brought, along with their war tactics, the blacks uh, brought over a lot of their weapons, the spears, I believe the boomerang was one. Don't quote me on the on the boomerang, but I believe the boomerang was one of the weapons that they brought over. Definitely the spear. Uh, I don't think the bow and arrow. I don't think the bow and arrow. I think some other people invented that shit. You know what I mean? Who's this right here? Who's this? Ah. The homie right here. Mick Mountain. Mikey. Mick. Whatever the hell your name is. You know what I mean? He blessed me today with uh, um, some information that I wasn't aware. Uh, he also has a good song out. I want y'all to hit this dude's page up. He hit me with a crazy song. It's banging. Yeah, I'm promoting you, homie. You know what I mean? <laughs> we promoting the homie. He got some good music out. He got an album coming out. Y'all make sure your people. Who's this right here? PJ Silence, all right, you bigging us up. Hold up, somebody here said the curved machete. Did they bring over the machete? Somebody hit me up in the comment. I'm not aware of that. I know the machete is definitely, everybody in Puerto Rico know what a machete is. They used to fucking cut down the sugar cane with that, but I'm not familiar uh, who actually brought the machete over to Puerto Rico. Uh, the homie Albert saying that it was dumb. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Saludo a mi gente, a los bori, ya tu sabes, la raza, que viva la raza. Again, happy Black History Month to everybody out there. And like I said in the beginning of the video, today is Black History Month. And I wanted to share the role that the Blacks played in Puerto Rican history and culture. You know? And these are cultures that we still study today. That's right. And I'm sure a lot of Puerto Ricans ain't even up on it. It's fucking snowing over here. We got the mad people on here. Salute to everybody checking in. My people subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe. You know what I mean? Subscribe, smash that like button. Mike, get on your job. Tell him to smash that like button. Oh, we got people here I never seen before. Hold on. Welcome to the welcome to the motherfucking podcast. What is it? Global firm. All right. For your African slaves, salute you. Of course, it is what it is. I don't like to use that word. You know what I mean? We all know it is what it is, but I don't like to use the S word. You know what I mean? You know, it, for personal reasons, I definitely don't like to use it, but. Welcome to the podcast, homie. We hope you're a, a regular member. Uh, my people, smash that like button. I want you to share, share my podcast. We've been growing crazy. Every week we get bigger and bigger numbers. I want to thank everybody that's been watching my podcast. The comments. I want everybody to know I read each and every comment. I appreciate the comments. I love, love, love that you guys hit me with the positive comments. I read everyone. I put, if I don't comment on it, I at least put the little heart to let you know that I read it. So I want you to know I read every comment. I appreciate them. And the fact that you took out time to even write a damn comment, you know what I mean? Salute to you. We got to stay in the yard, homie. We got to stay in the yard. What is homie saying right here? Hold on. Hispaniola, that's right. For those that don't know, Hispaniola was the name of uh, Hispaniola history, right? Hispaniola was the name that was that used to be given to uh, the Dominican Republic in Haiti, the island where uh, the Dominican Republic in Haiti is. It used to be called Hispaniola. Rock with your boy. What nigga is that by here? No, we aren't, no, man, you better. <laughs> I'm not going to put that comment up, yo. 
<laughs> Dominican Republic, you already know. Salute. I love my Dominicans. It is what it is. So yeah, my people, again, salute to Black History Month. You know what I mean? And uh, make sure to subscribe. Invite your homies. Let them know that we got the hottest podcast out right now. Reppin' the Real. The banging this podcast out right now. Ain't nobody messing with Reppin' the Real. We stay in the yard. We stay in the yard. Again, this past month, I've done a lot of interviews on uh, the homie Panda Chop News. I want y'all to check out Panda Chop News. And uh, I did about, I gave him an hour interview and the homie put like a hundred clips out there. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess that's his way of doing things. But I gave him an hour interview and the homie got like a hundred clips out there. So, you know, it is what it is. Salute to all my Puerto Ricans in Chi-Town, my Puerto Ricans in Florida, my Puerto Ricans in Cali, my Puerto Ricans in Down Under. Puerto Ricans is international. And we thank the blacks for, you know what I mean? Blessing us with the beautiful history and the customs that to this day we follow. It is what it is, man. We got the mad people here. I see everybody in here. It is what it is. As you guys are aware, I'm not I'm not monetizing on YouTube. You know what I mean? Uh, YouTube, you know, got too many rules and regulations, and you're only giving up a couple of dollars. So you know, your boy is not one to be motherfucking. You know, uh, I don't deal good with rules and regulations. You know what I mean? So so y'all can know I'm not monetizing on YouTube. It is what it is. If y'all want to catch the podcast, y'all can catch me on um, Facebook. YouTube, Twitter, and we're about to hit um, um, the other spots like Spotify and all that other jump off. You know what I mean? Boricuas Mundial, ya tu sabe. We got the mad people on here. Every week we get more and more people. So yeah, my people, there you go. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know, today was a different topic, a different story. I'm not always going to hit you with the OG stories. You know what I mean? We got to shake it up. You know, your boy C-Rock is way, way more than prison mentality. You know what I mean? Y'all know I got a bigger prison mentality, which is my life coaching company. I am also a life coach. In case this is your first time listening, I'm a life coach. I specialize in um, the people that were formerly incarcerated. The homies coming out of jail, you already know. And their family, you know, the mothers, the daughters, the wives that are in relationship with guys that are in prison and they want to understand why they think the way they think, why they act, why they move, you know, why they have the personality they have. I coach them, I enlighten them with the mentality of an inmate and you know especially if they're institutionalized you know if you're institutionalized you definitely need a life coach so you know it is what it is man uh i also started doing motivational speaking i reached out to a few of the high schools in my area and asked them if i could go in there and speak to the kids and hit them with a crazy motivational speak you know your boy is crazy with it your boy is crazy with it. I believe I'll make a, a great motivational speaker. So, like I said, I reached out to a few of the high schools, asking them if they would, you know, grant me, give me the, the privilege of going into their auditorium and giving a little hour, two hour speech to the kids. You know, it's all about the kids. You know what I mean? I wish I had a mentor when I was young. Maybe I wouldn't have turned out this way, but you already know. You know what I mean? It is what it is. <clears throat> well, my people, today's going to be a short one. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Again, salute to Black History Month. I wanted to enlighten everybody on the history and the cultures that the Blacks brought to Puerto Rico. It is what it is. You know what I mean? You already know, every Saturday, tune in with your homie. You know what I mean? 
and repping the real. We international. Subscribe, subscribe. Thanks everybody for tuning in. You already know. See you next Saturday, my people. Always remember, don't allow nobody to fuck with your peace of mind. Always think positive. When we do good things, good things happen. I know I sound like a broken record, but I need y'all to understand that, man. Every day I'm on some positive energy shit. I don't allow nobody to rent space in my mind and piss me off. Never that. When you allow somebody to piss you off, you've given them the right to control you. Fuck you, homie. It ain't going down like that. We in the yard. Rock with your boy. Everybody have a blessed day, man.